Now, welcome to the stage, Alex Corvin, representing Ryerson University. The games that we play shape who we are because it's one of the oldest forms of social interaction and ubiquitous in everyday life, from education to entertainment. But games can also shape our perceptions. For instance, when did you first experience the thrill of wealth accumulation? Was it when you bought your first hotel chain? Or was it when someone's game token first landed on a hotel that you own in Monopoly? One of the top-selling board games of all time, but a game that has been the subject of fascinating research around human behavior and our perceptions of wealth and privilege. In fact, there's a whole field of academic study around how we can use games to teach important lessons. A team of doctors from right here at McMaster designed a board game used to teach emergency room management. Highly interactive, super low stakes. Now, what is it about the board game that makes it so popular? Well, it's an immersive experience that we share with others in person using tactile components. And this allows us to simulate endless scenarios of competition and collaboration. So my research begins by recognizing that board games are powerful tools for social engagement and collective problem solving. Because the question I ask is this, what happens if you take one of the most complex collective action problems of our time, climate change, and then engineer a board game to deliberately influence how people relate to this issue? To answer this question, I designed a board game. I researched and adapted game mechanics specifically meant to mimic attributes of climate change and then packaged it into a game using personal transportation as a the theme. So the game board is a thriving city and you choose different ways of traveling to access resources and perform upgrades. But the game amplifies the shared impacts of everyone's actions, forcing players to react individually and collaboratively in order to win or to simply avoid disaster. So what happens when you play this game? How are real-life attitudes affected when you can artificially shorten feedback loops and accelerate consequences? Well, findings from multiple playtesting sessions show that the game pushes players to confront their biases and their frustrations towards inefficient use of common resources. In fact, after playing the game, over two-thirds of players will demonstrate a material decline in their preference towards driving fossil fuel-powered cars which I found fascinating, because we all know what it feels like to be really competitive towards something. But imagine if that drive for winning, or that frustration towards losing, could be linked to a degree of self-reflection about how we behave in real life. Because we know that for some, that self-reflection is what's needed to inspire a shift in mindset. And then maybe one day, for the sake of our planet, a shift in behavior. Thank you. <laughs> 